Bacon wrap tots ready to go. I always recommend the bacon wrap tots. Soft potato on the inside, wrapped with this crispy bacon. And the Chipotle ranch brings the whole thing together. All right, what are we making first? Mashed potatoes for the bacon wrap tots. Boiled Yukon skins on. White pepper, salt, roasted garlic, brown butter. Okay. Heavy cream. Mix it in with our shredded hash. A little more salt, black pepper. Now we're ready to form them. Let's see it. That's not a tot, that's a baseball. Yeah, you know, yeah. you gotta give the people what they want, though. And the wrap is? Just one whole piece of bacon, man. Bam. While those are frying, what's the sauce that goes with them? Chipotle ranch sauce. How many sauce. items are on the menu here? Which one? The breakfast menu, the, the dinner menu, the taco menu, the do prime rib on Saturdays. Does the owner make you do this, or is this just you going wacko? Uh, yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> so it's best answer I've ever heard. We start with our ranch dressing, chipotle peppers, the Worcestershire. I like to call it woo-woo, because not everybody knows how to say it or spell so it So that's out. your own way, is woo-woo? Plate it up. Boom, just like so. Dude, it looks like a top made after me. <laughs> Incredibly creative. You get crispy, you get creamy, you get crunchy, unctuous bacon. Thanks. The chipotle sauce, which is so needed because it adds a little bit of heat, it adds another little dimension. Mm -hmm. The creaminess of the ranch, cooling it down a touch. Funky fried freaky. Freaky okay. Friday funky. It's funky freaky fried. It is delicious and really done right. Right on, man. Bacon wrap tots, pick up. I love that they are crunchy on the outside, and as soon as I bite in, it's moist and steamy and yummy. This is exceptional, exceptional food. Beef pho. The pho broth is fantastic. It's always super fatty, rich, delicious. It's comfort food for me, and I just love it. So where are we going to start? Fresh pho noodles. It's just a rice noodle. Yep, about 30 seconds or so. Got it. Start placing the meat in. First we go with uh, brisket, and then we got our meatballs, trite, some tendon, and uh, we got our rare eye round. Eye of the round. Yep, a little bit of white onions, green onions, and some cilantro as well. Got it. And then ladle the pot broth on. Then we're gonna finish off with a little bit of uh, black pepper on top. That's outstanding. Mm. Tender noodles, great meatball. I think that there's so many components to it. The balance is great. The flavors are subtle. Delicious, man. Great job, chef. Thank you. It's slightly salty, uh, full of beef flavor. The smell of the pho wafts across the block. You can't not come in here. How long is the line to get into this joint on a Saturday? Uh, about an hour and a half. No. Yeah. Maybe that's because the specialty's here you just can't find anywhere. Got a pork bun mi. Let's go, guys. Bon mi is one of my favorites. The richness of that pate cut with a little bit of the pickled veg, down to the richness of the head cheese. I've eaten a lot of bon mi, but I don't know that I've ever seen head cheese. This is, like, probably the favorite in my family. So take all the leftover parts of the pig that you have, yeah. cook them down, throw them in a sandwich and some vinegary vegetables. Exactly. Magic. So uh, first, start off with uh, some pig face. That's great. We boil it off, take it out, slice into small pieces. We're going to drop the pig face drop in. Drop it like it's hot. We got pork neck, some ham as well. OK. Black pepper, uh, garlic, pig salt, sugar. So cook this down for how long? 30 minutes. Releases all the collagen and the juices and the fats? Yep. Then you'll put it into a mold and yep. let it cool? Yep. Mm. It's all nice and gelatinous here. Just slice it really thin. Mmm. I think I'm having the knee. Now we're ready to build our sandwich. All right, buddy. Start off with a uh, seven-inch baguette. Open it up and actually hollow out a little bit of the, the core. OK. Garlic mayo, house-made pate. Chicken liver? Yep. We're going to go with our head cheese next. Barbecue pork. All kinds of flavor. And then uh, the jalua, which is like a Vietnamese bologna. Our pickled carrots and daikon. Got some cucumbers, jalapenos, and cilantro to top it off. Gorgeous sandwich, man. Great bread. I mean, there's just so many different components. The balance is great. Thank you. Mm. As you chew it, you just get, oh, there it is. Oh, now I got some sour. Now I got some heat. Now I got a little jalapeno. Now I got the freshness of the cucumber. It just, 
keeps trumping itself as you enjoy it. Exactly. I dig it. Thank you. The inside is so spongy, it really absorbs the flavor of the meat. The pickled daikons and carrots gives it a good crunch. I've never had head cheese before. I like it. It's neat for people to walk in here and get a full cultural experience. Exactly. Outstanding, Moon. Really. Thank you. Favorite thing on the menu? Surf and turf. We got two surf and turfs ready. It's a shaved steak sandwich. The au jus has the lobster flavor into it. I could have sworn that there was lobster on the sandwich. I kept looking for the lobster. What are we into next? Our surf and turf. We start with a certified Angus beef tri-tip. I see the turf, <laughs> but I'm, where's the surf? We serve it with a lobster beef au jus. And I'm the crazy one. Kosher salt, black pepper, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, dry rosemary. How long is it going to sit on there? 20, 30 minutes. Cook that in our oven. Eight minutes at 500 degrees. Then we turn it down to 350 degrees and cook it for an hour. Chill it, slice it on our deli slicer for service. OK, chef, now we're going to make our duck cell. Nice fatty mushroom spread. Don't get to say nice fatty mushroom spread very often, do you? <laughs> it just has a ring to it. Butter, add our shallots, our garlic, sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes actually break it up a little bit. Yeah, a nice little acidic bit, bite in there. Tarragon, parsley, mushrooms. We do screeninis. Salt, white vinegar, red wine. Cook for about hour, hour and a half. This is the time when we're going to see the lobster shells come out, huh? <laughs> yes. I am dying to see this. We're going to start with the beef bones. We rub these with tomato paste. I love that little trick. In the oven. 350. Don't roast. Bones in the pot. Our lobster bodies. This is the weirdest thing I've seen. Black peppercorns, bay leaf. Water. We bring it up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and let it reduce overnight. In the warehouse of fun. So now we're going to make our Bernays sauce. Start with our tarragon champagne vinegar reduction. Okay. Champagne vinegar, shallots. Tarragon, bring it up to a boil, hit it on simmer. And let this reduce down, strain it out. Whole eggs, some more yolks, salt, Calabrian chilies, our tarragon reduction. Then we're going to use our stem blender. And then we have our melted butter, give that slow drizzle. Bernays is done. Time to build it. Fantastic. Favorite part of the day. Milk bun. Ooh. Very generous with the duck cell. Will you let that reduce? Tri tip. Red onions, our tarragon chili bernays. Top it off. The Pirates of the Caribbean sword to cut it with. <laughs> and then here comes the lobster beef shoe. I can't wait for this one. Whoa. The sandwich is spectacular By before itself. you dip right, it. Right, right, right. The beef flavor's through the roof. Right. That is crazy. The lobster really comes out. I cannot believe how much lobster flavor's in there. It is full on surf and turf. One of the most whacked out thing I've ever seen on Triple D. Amen, dude. Yeah, Thanks, two Jeff. for two, brother. Plating surf and turf. It's a really good cut of beef, and it's so tender. The haju sauce is the die for. It's the most unique sandwich I think it probably I'm ever I'm going to give you a unique <laughs> celery root. I have brought friends from out of town many a time here. It's the spot to go to. You're a gangster. I love your city. What a destination for great food. And I think that you're one of the founding fathers of making that happen. But way to step <laughs> up to the plate. Thanks, Chef. The best thing on the menu here is the nasi lemak and beef rendang. It's curry beef stewed for hours. Some sambal pickles, a superb dish. What are we making today? Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak? Yes. We're going right. to pressure cook the beef knuckle for 35 minutes. Lemongrass? Lemongrass. Water. Once it comes out, we will chill it, dice it, before we put it into the braise. What do we do next? The fresh spice for the beef rendang. Oil, lemongrass, turmeric, galangal, onion. And then we have dry spice. Star onions first. I'm going to break it up. Break the pot open, yeah. Yeah. Cardamom. Coriander. And black pepper. Fennel. Clove. And cumin. Grind the dry spices. Puree that for the beef rendang. Yeah. Next step. Coconut rice. OK. This is a jasmine and long grain rice mixture. Ginger, onions, lemongrass, pandan leaf, coconut milk, salt, MSG, and water. Stir it up, let it cook, then we'll finish the dish. Yeah. We okay. put all this together, and we have beef rendang. Let's see it. Fresh spice mix, chili powder. Spicy chili powder. You can add more if you like it spicy. A liquid from the fresh cooker. OK. Diced beef. Dry spice, lime leaf, coconut milk, toasted coconut paste, salt, sugar, and cook for 15 minutes. What are we on to next? Tamarind sambal, the chili sauce that goes on the nasi lemak. Great. Oil, lemongrass, onions, spicy chili powder. This is a tamarind. The tanginess of the tamarind, got it. Yeah, we'll put it back in the pan. Salt, sugar. It smells so good. Cook this until you can see the oil separate from the solids. 15 to 20 minutes. 15 minutes of torture. Next, the spicy pickle, salt, sugar, water, vinegar, onion, cucumber, sweet pepper, carrot, 
Okay. All right. We're plating now. Peanuts, eggs, the spicy pickle. Right. Coconut rice, tamarind sambal. This is the beef rendang that we cooked. Toasted sesame seeds and fried onion. Traditionally, we eat it uh, all mixed together. It was such a beautiful dish, and now you have me destroying it. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Wow. You have to mix it together, because when you're biting into this and you get this tender beef with a little bit of spice, and you get a little bite of the pickle, and then the next thing you get spicy, that's really, really delicious. Nasi lemak and beef rendang. You have this rich texture with the beef, the fluffiness of the rice. You get some of the spice, and then you get the egg that can cool it down. So here I am in Cleveland going to another one of your favorites, Melt Bar and Grill. I need some cheese, please. You don't hear of a place that just has grilled cheese. Tell me this place is not off the chain. Dude, it's bomb, man. Got a purple parma going up. West Side Monte Cristo, it's delicious. Hot Italian for you? It's amazing. The food's really good and really awesome grilled cheese sandwiches. It's the best in Cleveland. I'm a big fan. So is my Aunt Polly. The creativeness is just awesome. Yep, grilled cheese done more than 30 different ways. Chorizo potato. By chef and owner Matt Fish. Parma Italy working. Who just can't give up his childhood favorite. I think we can stick anything inside of it and it's still considered a grilled cheese sandwich. Peanut butter, banana, cream cheese. Peanut butter, banana. The blackened chicken for you, sir? When I come here, I only get the big popper. You got a big popper heading that our way. Kind of like a jalapeno popper, just sandwich form. Take it for a test drive, my friend. Wow, dude, that's hot. That tastes like a jalapeno popper. There's even one stuffed with this local favorite. Giant potato pierogi on there. Parmageddon. Parmageddon is so Cleveland. Why does it get called Parmageddon? First suburb outside of Cleveland going south is Parma. Parma is the Polish hotbed in Cleveland, and pierogies is a main staple. OK. We're going to start with our grilled bread every time. Turn our saute pan on. We're going to add our vegetable oil. We're going to brown our pierogies. They're just fresh potatoes, a good hearty cheddar cheese in there. We brown them real nice on both sides. And our grilled onions. Flambe grilled sandwich. Look out, see that. girls. Nice soft cabbage for us. Oh, this is the, the kraut spice that we made earlier today. OK. Vodka. And then our from cider vinegar. And that's it. All we're going to do is just let this get happy, happy, happy. You are crazy. I try, man. Try. I'm telling you, Michael Simon, Eric at Momocho, Heather at Lucky's, and now this cat. I don't know about this town. Crazy people. OK, so this is going to reduce. All the liquid's going to be gone. I'm going to flip the bread. Oh, please do. Some sharp cheddar cheese goes on both sides of the bread. We do approximately four ounces of cheese on every sandwich. Yeah. Brogies down first. All that good, good caramelization then goes on top. Easy. Flipping that bad boy onto the tray, into the meltification machine. Yes. Three to five minutes in that oven to get this to be the perfect grilled cheese sandwich. All right, let's do this, man. Boom. Oh, man. Out of bounds. Crunch on the bread, fantastic. Pierogi, great. But the cabbage with the vodka and the cider, it's over the top and around again over the top. Oh, thank you. That is one of the best grilled cheese I've ever had. You know who I have to bring in here? Now, Polly, tell me what you think wow. of this. That's the bomb. <laughs> Bursting with flavor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bursting. Bursting. <laughs> Pierogies were new to me, so it's nice to have them in a sandwich. Outstanding. It's hard to describe. It's so much more than a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> like two crab cakes. My idea was to take a four to five star restaurant, that quality of, of food. And the medium, medium is grilled cheese. Everybody's used to. Burger on blue cheese. Everybody loves grilled cheese, and they just do a lot of different neat things to it.